In this video, you'll learn what columns are created by the grid automatically, how to use the grid's integrated designer to manage the columns collection, and how to bind columns to data fields. We'll start with a project that already has a grid control bound to a data source. As you can see, this data source is the products table from the Northwind database with just a few fields selected. Each time you bind your grid control to the required data, columns are created automatically, one for each data field in your data source. Thus you'll see that the grid now has the same columns as the fields we just saw in the bound data source. To add or remove columns, use the grid designer. Switch to the Columns tab to see two lists. The list on the left-hand side displays data fields available in the bound data source, and you can toggle the list's visibility. The list on the right-hand side is the grid view's current column collection. If you remove a column, the corresponding field is highlighted using bold font. You can then drag that field onto the columns list to automatically create a bound column. You can also create a column and then manually specify its name that will be used to access it in code. To bind it to a data field, use the field name property. The Retrieve Fields button can also come in handy. It clears the column collection and then creates the bound column for every data field much like when you first bind the grid to data. To illustrate this, I'll modify the query so it includes data fields that were not originally used. The grid view's column collection remains the same. I switch to the Column section of the Grid Designer and click the Retrieve Fields button. All of my newly added fields are now retrieved and a grid column for each of them is created. Run the application and see that all columns have been created, including those just added to the data source. 